We really would love to know what your plan is to help lower the cost of living. Yeah, I, first of all, thank you both for being here. And yours is a, a story I hear around the country as I travel. And um, in terms of both rightly having the right to have aspirations and dreams and ambitions for your family and working hard and finding that the American dream is for this generation and so many recently far more elusive than it's been. And we need to deal with that. How are you going to bring down the cost of food and groceries? Good, very good, thank you. So we have to start always with energy, always. I don't want to be boring about it, but there's no bigger subject. It covers everything. If you make donuts, if you make cars, whatever you make, energy is a big deal, and we're going to get that. Uh, it's my ambition to get your energy bill within 12 months down 50 percent. If I can do that, you've done a hell of a job. 5-0, five, oh, five, not 15, 50. Interest rates are going to follow, and actually, they're going to follow for another reason. The economy is now not good, and interest rates, you'll see, they'll do the rate cut and all the political stuff tomorrow, I think. And, you know, will he do a half a point? Will he do a quarter of a point? But the reason is because the economy is not good. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do it. But we're going to get interest rates down, and we got to work with our farmers. Our farmers are being decimated right now. They're being absolutely, absolutely decimated.